Hey guys, so welcome back to my workshop. So today's video I wanted to show you and bring you along the journey and the process of making a stand or a better yet a, a place to put my hand planks. You know, I only have about two or three but I've recently acquired another one and now I'm starting to, to gather more and I really like looking for these in flea markets. So I need to find a permanent place to put them and I've just determined that basically right here on this wall is where I'm going to put them. So we'll stick around, I'm going to show you how I built this thing and um, kind of walk you through this entire process. Okay, so I feel like it's only fitting that I would actually share with you the hand planes I have right now. This one is my go-to when I'm doing some small chamfers. And I did buy this at Lowe's. Of all places, they have Lowe's. I will say it's not the best quality, but it does do the job and it works really well. I use it all the time. Uh, I also got this free from a customer. I, I couldn't find a name on this one, but I think it's it might be a Stanley, I'm not really sure. Um, if you know, let me know in the description below if this looks familiar to you. That one I got for free from a customer. This one I have had for a long time. This was my first plane I got from, probably most, I think it was my grandfather who used to have this. And you can tell it's, it's once again not the best quality. It kind of falls in the line with this one. But I believe once again, I'm not sure the name. There's, there's just no names. There's no markers on this. Um, of course, it does have the number two because it's the number two size. But uh, other than that, I'm not really sure the name. But so recently, I acquired this little guy. I got this at a flea market for under 20 bucks, and I was super thrilled. I've got this. Uh, it's Craftsman, and I really like it. You know, I've never been a huge fan of Craftsman. And until recently, maybe the last year or so, I've really become to not really mind Craftsman, but really like this. Love the wooden handle and the knob. Everything was in good shape. The knife is surprisingly very sharp, so I was really tickled about that. This part here does seem to be maybe a reproduction part because it's awful shiny. It's very shiny. It's got a cast look to it. The spring is very new where everything else looks old, so... I'm kind of thinking that that was probably like a, a redo. Somebody remade that. Plus the paint on Craftsman looks a little bit out of place to me. So this one is my, right now, I would say my favorite. I, once again, I got this for 20 bucks. This is a Stanley, but this is their cheaper models. Um, th these are plastic handles, but the, the base is very nice and smooth. The knife is very nice and sharp, and it works very, very well. So these are, the, these are the planes I'm going to be putting in this holder. So I really like to try to use uh, pieces that I already have laying around. I've got this 3 quarter inch piece of plywood we're going to use as the base. I think my idea, this is going to work out pretty good. I, I'm going to try to utilize this board only. And I'm thinking this is probably the layout that would work best for my situation here. Something like this. Alright, so the way this is going to work is that I'm going to be taking... The, these pieces of plywood that I have laying around and I'm going to cut three quarter inch strips so essentially I'll have a three quarter inch square because this is three quarter inch plywood. What we're going to do is cut strips and we're going to put these strips in place between these planes and also at the ends that's going to serve to separate these it's also going to serve to set this down on so they'll stay in position and later on you'll understand what I mean by staying in position but first we got to cut some of these on the table saw. Alright, so here's our pieces we just cut on the table saw. Did end up with one that was a little bit narrower, but we'll use this as the blocks to hold these in place. So what we're going to do is take these strips, and we're going to set them in between each set of planes. It just so happens that I have almost enough to do all of the sides. So it looks like I'll have to cut probably one more. So from this point, I'm going to make a mark up here just kind of a, a rough idea of where I want to have this cut off so we'll probably cut something off about there. I'm going to go ahead and take these off. We'll trim down this backboard first and then trim these down to fit the lengths and then we'll go ahead and look at gluing them and attaching them permanently to the base. Now 
the first one cut, we're going to go ahead and just work at gluing this on. I'm going to glue it face on and then we'll throw some clamps on it. I really don't want to put any screws on this. This is not really going to take any weight or any brunt of any sort of force. So glue alone should be enough to hold that on. Okay, it's been overnight. As you can see, I had all these clamps on there. We're just going to go ahead and take them all off, and everything should really look pretty good. All right, so before we get any further, I'm going to put these all in just to kind of test things, make sure they fit. Last thing you want to do is have something way off course. All right, you may notice I have a, a very wide gap over here, and it's primarily because I'm thinking ahead. If we end up, if I end up getting something more like this, I want to be able to fit it up there. I uh, don't know. Yeah, it doesn't quite fit, so it uh, leaves me enough room. So the next step to do is to take some of the cutoff blocks that we had when we cut these down, and we're going to cut them to fit in between each one. Now each one's going to be different for obvious reasons. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to measure the distance here, measure this, cut it, and then we'll glue them at the bottom. And essentially what that's going to do is that when this is setting up, it's going to keep these from wanting to fall completely out. So while everything's drying, I've decided to go ahead and take where this little hand plane goes. And I'm going to make a, a shim, essentially, a piece of wood. I'm going to use a piece of this uh, just select pine just to fill in this gap. And I'm going to do a blunt end just so that the next piece I will be able to put another plane. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and piece, put a piece here. And I'm also going to go ahead and put another piece here just to continue the whole idea. And this will fit nice and snug. So here we are. It's the next day. I've taken all the clamps off. Everything is pretty much done. Everything sits in there very well. So it's just sit down in there very easily. They're not hard to get in there. So the next step is to get our angle. This is gonna sit on the wall at an angle approximately like this. We don't wanna go exactly 90 degree. We're trying to go slightly under 90 degrees so that these just don't wanna fall out. It's just enough so that these don't tip out. So that's really the test that I'm gonna use just so that they don't tip out as they're sitting in there. This one is, is about at the, the border, the, the place we don't want to go. So this is about the angle we're going to go. We're going to measure this. We're going to cut some pieces to keep it at this angle. And then we're going to mount it permanently in the location that I have already selected. So I would say the best way to find the angle we want is just to set it against something you know is 90 degrees. Raise it up and just kind of test it. I just a little bit more down. So I'm thinking that's about where we want it. I'm measuring at seven inches, 14 and a half. So the measurement we actually ended up with is six by 15. And we're going to end up making two of these. So we'll mark and measure another one and cut both of them out on the table saw.
perfect. Now I would say that's, you could call that done. Okay, so things turned out really good. I ended up just leaving it setting against the wall for now. I'm not really sure if I want to mount it on the wall yet or really where I want to put it. It might actually go somewhere else in my workshop because I'm kind of in a remodel of my workshop anyways. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe. And when you subscribe, please be sure to click the little icon to get notified when I have a new video up or when I go live. But thank you for watching this video. Please leave a comment. If you have any questions, please ask them as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.